Hey guys, Cameron over at Race Pack here with Nick Cobb with the Popeye Energy Supercom Dragster and they've just built a brand new Race Tech Dragster and what we're doing today is we're installing our new IQ3 Drag Logger Dash that uh, we've just come out with and it used to have a Race Pack in it uh, just like many of you at home but what we've done is we've removed the Sportsman Data Logger and the UDX Dash and we're going to go ahead and put in the new IQ3 Drag Dash. What we've done is to speed up the process a little bit here in the installation, we've already pre-mounted the IQ3 into his dash, into his new dash that he got over from Racetech. And uh, we used uh, the new template that we have here in the IQ3 manual to go ahead and easy installation. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and show you guys what a snap this is to put together. So now that we've got the dash installed into the dragster with the new mount panel and everything, now we're going to start the wiring process. And what's really cool about the new IQ3 drag dash is the fact that the harness is all basically pre-done for you. So basically you're just going to click it in and run the wires to where they need to go. There are a few extra wires in here for different applications and such. And uh, with, with this really cool connector that we're using, it's kind of a snap to if there's anything that you need to remove. So for instance, on this build, uh, we're not going to be running any sort of EFI because it's a super comp dragster. So there's a pigtail on the harness that actually you can just plug your EFI system right into uh, an adapter that we sell for any sort of uh, poly, fast, XFI, things like that. So if you don't need it, it's actually a really, really quick snap to uninstall it. There's a little tab on the bottom of the connector. You click it up, and then all you got to do is just pull out the wires and click it back down. So from there, all we have to do is uh, run the wires to where we need to go. So now it's basically just a little simple wiring. So what we're doing is we're running the tack wire through his loom here and uh, over to his pickup for the tack RPM pickup and that one will be done and then we're just going to kind of continue. We have uh, the remote button to toggle through the pages on the IQ3, a power wire, and a ground. And that's basically it. So while Nick finishes up on the tack wire, I'm going to go ahead and run the uh, ground and the trans brake wire. You got the trans brake wire to see uh, when that trans brake was released and it'll help also help with zeroing the runs when you uh, download the data onto your RacePack Datalink 2 software. So while we finish up the last bit of wiring up here in the dash, what's really cool about the IQ3 drag dash as well is you can actually add additional VNet sensors. And since this dragster already had a VNet sportsman system on it already, what we went ahead and did is we saved some of his VNet stuff that uh, he still wanted to monitor, such as pan vacuum. Uh, he's got a bottle pressure in here for his air bottle. So all you have to do is you can, uh, we got a VNet extension cable here. We're going to run it straight up to the dash, plug it right in, and all we have to do uh, once we do the programming is read those sensors into the, the IQ3 drag dash and program them if he wants to see them on the dash or if he just wants to go ahead and record them and look at them on his graph analysis. Just like any of our other VNet stuff, it's a simple click, uh, simple click on the VNet cables. Click it on in, and he's ready to rock there as far as wiring. Now all we have to do is run out the rest of our VNet stuff that comes included with the IQ3 drag dash, our water temp, oil pressure, and drive shaft, and we're pretty much done. So now that we've moved to the rear of the vehicle. What we've done is we've routed the rest of the wiring harness along the side of the frame rail with the rest of his loom. We got the water temperature sensor up to the top of the motor, the oil pressure sensor wire down uh, by the oil pressure pickup, and now we're working on the drive shaft sensor pickup. Uh, in your kit, you're going to get a drive shaft collar with a couple magnets in it, a bracket, and a drive shaft sensor as well. So what you're going to do is you're just going to install the, the collar right there on uh, just in front of the pinion seal right behind the yoke. And uh, keep in mind that we do we do offer a few different sizes when, when ordering, so um, just kind of make sure before you order if you know if it's a Strange, Mark Williams, Mosier, large or small pinion, that'll help uh, expedite the process uh, during ordering. But uh, we also give you that bracket to hold the sensor, so I'm going to go ahead and hand you this, Nick. I know you got the collar pretty well, pretty well put in there, so we'll install the sensor. And uh, also keep in mind the gap in between the sensor and the collar, you're going to want about 60 to 80 thousandths in between the sensor and and the actual magnets itself. So, but we're gonna tidy this up and we'll click a couple sensors in and we'll test this thing out. So here we are, finally got the, the new IQ3 drag dash installed in this beautiful Racetech dragster. So we put Nick in the car and see if we can do one last thing. See if it works. Spin it up, let's see.